What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 video and today we will be building patios with the Bobcat T180 and this awesome Bobcat attachment and we will be using the GMC2500 crew cab to trailer on over the Bobcat to the job sites. Let's start up the GMC and attach it to the trailer. And a lot of you guys really did like the building a sidewalk video, so stay tuned for a part 2 of that coming soon. And today is awesome since we are building two patios, and they are right next to each other, which is very convenient for us and will save us a lot of time instead of unloading and loading multiple times today. Let's jump on in the T180 tracked skid steer, which is a very cool skid steer, and let's load it up really do like this and today will be a lot of fun since we are building patios for some clients going to center the bobcat on over the axles of the trailer to take all the weight off of the uh tongue of the trailer let's head on out now and i do have the light add-on mod that makes all our hazard lights stay on when we get out of it which will be awesome and increase the realism since we will have to park on the side of the road but we are heading on out right now and the properties are across the street from each other which is perfect and this truck has auto hazard lights or turning lights off once you turn which is a very cool feature about it really do like that but we are on my edit of the awesome lawn care map and it's a pretty cool map overall but uh, we are almost there, and I thought that we would use this GMC truck since it's one of my favorite trucks. But let me know in the comments, guys, and what's your favorite farming simulator 15 pickup truck? And I could use one of those for the next video because I really do like using mods that you guys request. We are almost there. Once we turn here, it's just the next road. And we'll be building two patios, which are pretty decently sized, and it will be a lot of fun to do that. Let's turn on in, so we'll be doing the house to the right and the one to the left, which will be perfect. Let's pull off to the side of the road, and I would pull in and on the sidewalk, but the ramps won't go down correctly, and we won't be able to unload. And we want to be able to unload safely. And this is too long of a trailer and truck to park in the driveway. Let's back this off. Very slowly. Perfect. Awesome. So we'll be going to the back since that's where the patio is. But before that, let's lower this and get it situated so that the wheels are on the ground. Awesome. Let's drive on over, do some first person action of us driving on over. But uh, we will be building a patio in the back here. And they do have a small little gravel patio there, but they want a large one. So we will probably go out to here, really large patio, the length of the house. So they can add a trampoline or something like that. Let's start this up. And a very cool piece of equipment we are using today. And I'm very glad that I found this awesome skid steer and this pretty cool attachment that came with it. Really do like it. It's going to be used in more building videos. But let me know in the comments, guys, on what other types of building videos would you guys like to see. I get a lot of requests to do these, and I really do enjoy doing them a lot. They're a lot of fun. So we do need to reposition here, but I think turning on the light would be pretty cool things so let's turn that on perfect I really do like doing this and a lot of you guys have awesome video ideas and I really do thank you for that and your support on each and every video it's a lot of fun making these for you guys and I thank you for supporting me on the daily uploads we'll do a little bit more here but uh, overall this skid steer is perfect for the job today really does make it so that we don't cause any problems to the grass around us since the tracks really do help with not digging up the grass just going to have to readjust we want to do as good of a job as possible for our client we'll do one more back and forth and then we will go on over to the other property 
and we are only doing two today, but that's a pretty good amount. Let's lift this up, and uh, that way it doesn't dig in, and uh, we'll lower it every time we do go around. Awesome. Did not get a full pass in, but on the next one, we'll try our best to do a very good job, and uh, that would be the last pass on this patio. Let's turn this so that it's straight, lower down, and uh, let's make this last pass. Awesome. This skid steer is perfect for the job, and I really do like using equipment that is overall awesome equipment. Really fun to use stuff like this. Awesome, guys. So the first patio is done for today, and if you guys take a look, look at how nice this patio is. They can have a pretty cool trampoline or swimming pool above ground if they would like to add one but that's overall our job here is done let's go on over to the other house which is just across the street we'll make our way over and I really do thank you guys for the support and there are some pretty cool videos coming this week and next week and I can't wait for FS17 coming towards the end of this month but the patio will need a little walkway, so we'll make one from this walkway on over to the back. Awesome. Going to uh, just make sure that we are in a perfect position. And to start to make the little small walkway. And this patio will go probably to there. Let's lift it up. We really want to be as realistic, so lifting that will also increase the realism. And I really do strive for the awesome realism. And you guys really also do enjoy it, which I think is awesome. But uh, this, we do need to fix, since we did not go in an exactly straight line. But it's not too hard to fix. And this patio goes all the way to the window over there. So we will go all the way over there. But uh, this does seem to miss grass here and there, but it also depends on the terrain, on if it's hilly. Yeah, that's also why. That's not that big of a problem. We will actually try to go the other way. I think that we could try that and see if that fixes the problem on the terrain, since it's not a completely flat map, which I kind of like about this map. Awesome. So like I said, we'll go the other way to see if that fixes our problem but let's back all the way up here and uh, start to go this way lower it and uh, once we do the end passes then we will do some first person action and we can't go right up to the house that will have to be done by hand let's just get this little corner make it our best that way the clients really do get a perfect job Awesome, let's do some first person action. I really do like doing this awesome action. Going to have to brake since this track is, it has a different braking zone and handling from the uh, wheeled one that we used to use. But if you guys have any cool equipment you guys would like me to use in a video, let me know in the comments and I will gladly look into doing it. And if you guys would like to talk to me on other social media websites, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Square2448 where I do tweet out live and talk to many fans over that which it's a lot of fun to do that but I think that this way is actually doing a pretty good job since the train I think is flat going one way and then the other way it's not so pretty good overall we do want to do a good job and uh, we always have to work around the obstacle and today that is the train not working out with this so uh, we will go the opposite direction which is doing pretty well whoa sorry about me hitting into the building it's pretty hard to break on this thing since like I said different handling but overall an awesome piece of equipment and you guys did see me use this yesterday and a lot of you guys really did like that whoa we just went up the stairs Let's uh, continue here in an uh, awesome setup. I really do like using different trucks and different trailers in each and every video for you guys. 
but uh, overall, I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos for you guys, and I can't wait to do these in FS17, which will be a lot of fun to do. But uh, let's let's clean this up and uh, go the opposite way now. Whoa, do not want to look inside this house since there's no need to. Let's uh, continue here. Not, we can't do too much since we have the stairs in the way. The rest will be done by hand when we come at another time. But that's going to be it for this two jobs today, guys. Overall, pretty successful day. Let's put this back up on the trailer and head back to the shop. And a lot of you guys really do like it when I go back to the shop. I think it's pretty cool to do that. Oh, I need to readjust and it goes straight on instead of at an angle, which is awesome. Now we're loading. Perfect. I really do like this setup overall. Awesome setup. Let's, uh start up the truck and we do have to turn the beacon off since like I said I do have the light mod it stays on awesome feature about that but uh, let's head back and call it a day perfect and the shop is just down the road here and then we'll see you guys tomorrow for another awesome video but overall today was a pretty cool video I hope you guys really did enjoy if you guys have any cool mods or any cool ideas for any videos let me know in the comments turning in here so i hope you guys enjoyed and like i said let me know in the comments what you thought about this and like always like comment and subscribe